Tucker running the throw to second. They got him. Swing and a miss. Base hit, and the Rangers win it. That one is gone. Garcia with a home run. Welcome to an all-star episode of Rangers Report presented by Chalk Talk Casinos and Resorts. The Texas Stars made history as the first team since 1976 to have five position players start in the All-Star game. The Rangers sent catcher Jonah Heim, second baseman Marcus Simeon, third baseman Josh Young, shortstop Corey Seager, outfielder Adolis Garcia, and righty Nathan Ovaldi to Seattle this year, showing the dominance of their first half of the season. How cute is this moment between Jonah Himes, son Nash, and running to Rangers captain? It truly doesn't get better than this. El Bombi had a full circle moment with his longtime best friend and minor league roommate, Randy Rosarina of the Rays, as they faced off against one another in this year's home run derby. short of Randy Arozarena. So the five seed will knock out the four seed and Randy Arozarena will move on to the semifinals. We mic'd up Josh Young for his first ever All-Star game, giving you a behind the scenes look at batting practice. The blue one was so sick. That'll be my off-season hat. Yeah, I didn't win the golden mic like he did last night. That's what we were saying. We pray we're not gonna There's like a high probability of swinging this It's funny how everybody has the same reaction. By swinging it. Oh, there's the foul ball. Painting corners that time. You know, he's slider heavy. He was just throwing fastballs. And we were just like, what? <laughs> and he throws 100. <laughs> His media yesterday was unbelievable. Did you ever look over there? When media started, he had like, you know those microphones that like hang above your head? There was probably 30 of them. And it was just like, what? Simeon usually leads our party for ground balls and we do whatever Simeon says. We're going right now, grounders only. All right, that's what we're doing. Cap set. Then it was time for the game. Ivaldi tossed a scoreless second inning and check out this catch from Garcia. Here's an opposite field fly ball deep to the track and a leaping grab made by Garcia. Highlight play to begin the All-Star game. Back in Arlington, I caught up with righty John Gray about the team's first half, what has been clicking for him so well on the mound, and how those dugout handshakes are actually formed. Hey everyone, I'm here with Rangers righty John Gray. John, you have had a stellar first half of the season. 1.05 whip, a top 10 in baseball, and also the 11th best ERA in all of MLB. What aspect of your game has been working so well for you this season? Uh, well, um, I just feel more confident out there. I feel like, uh, I just, I'm, like I'm not letting big innings happen. And uh, you know, that's, that's been a huge, huge part of it. But uh, when things are cruising, it's going well, but like, when things also get tough, I feel like we've been in lockdown mode, and that's really been the key. This has been your first season working with Rangers pitching coach Mike Maddox. How has he shifted the mentality of this Rangers starting rotation? Whatever he says it makes you feel pretty confident, and you you believe and you trust in whatever he tells you. But at the same time, he's got that he's got that demeanor about him. But he keeps everything really simple. It's not it's not as complex as you think it is, and uh, you know he like with me he keeps me from thinking too much outside the box. So just keep it simple, stick to your game plan, use, use what works. What is one way that you've seen your game plan shift this season compared to last? Um, well, I've changed the breaking balls a little bit here and there. Um, uh, started throwing a different slider this year. So um, that's, that's been a kind of a different look, but um, 
but I feel like just confidence with everything, the fastball, even the changeup uh, has been a big key. You mentioned your slider, and that was something that you were working on tweaking this past offseason and spring training. How effective has that been for you so far this year? It's been really effective. It has, and I'm glad I kind of tinkered with it in spring a little bit because it's been, it's been very useful and I've been able to rely on it a lot. This Rangers rotation is something so special. Has currently You're tied for the for best whip in all of baseball. How different is this rotation for you compared to last season? Uh, well, it seems like we got like all the help in the world right now. Uh, you know, even when we're a guy down, okay, the, the best pitcher in baseball down right now, and we've had Dane Dunning stepping up and like throwing, you know, some of the best numbers up in baseball. So it's it's uh, it's been great, and um, just having that every time we take the field, knowing that we have a good chance of winning has been awesome. For you, how has being around pitchers like Nathan Avaldi and even Jacob Degrom made you a better player? Um, just seeing the way they prepare, uh, picking their mind a little bit on things they think about. Uh, I feel like I've just learned so much since, since I've been with them, and um, and they've been a huge help, especially Nathan, like especially mechanics. Like he's so good with that stuff, and he's got an eye for that, and uh, he's been he's been a huge help. You mentioned working with Nathan. How is one way that he has helped tweak your game and really dominate on the mound? Um, and, you know, one thing I like to talk about is just mentality. Just mentality with certain pitches, how we pitch uh, guys looking for sliders, how we pitch guys looking for the fastball. I mean, uh, things like that. But. Um, but I would just say heavily mechanically. Like he's he's so good with the body down the mound and how things work. Um, if I know something's off, I can ask him, and, and he's got a good idea about it. How different is the energy in the Rangers dugout this season compared to the last team that you were on here? Um, it's 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 been more energetic, that's for sure. And then we got some good dugout energy. Uh, like Evaldi, he's great in the dugout. You know, Heaney, he's really good in the dugout. It's fun, it's fun. And, uh, you know, we have a lot of fun with all our signs and everything we do, but. But it's, it's, a, it's a really fun group, and, um, you know, they're, they're making a lot of stuff happen, so there's a lot to celebrate. Speaking of a dugout, do you have any fun secret handshakes or things that you do with your teammates? Like, I see uh, Adolis and Zeke are always dancing in the dugout, so do you have any fun <laughs> either pregame or during game rituals that you do? Nothing that cool. No, I mean, we have, like, little, you know, a little different high fives, but nothing significant, no. I've always wondered, how do those come to be? Like, do you find a teammate and you're like, okay, we're going to have a handshake, or does it just magically happen one day? Like, I've always wondered how that <laughs> happens from start to finish. With me, it's been, it's been like, it just kind of happens. Like, you know, you're, you start off fist bumping, and you start off maybe clapping, and then you do a little wiggle in there, and then maybe you, like, finish it up with a snap or something, and then it just, it just it becomes. I like it. That's yeah. awesome. Well, back to you on the mound this season. You have averaged around six innings per start. You even had a complete game against St. Louis. What has been your key to success as far as going so deep into games this season? Like, what is different for you in that sense? Uh, I feel like the, the games we got deep in, uh, limited walks for one, like not pitching around, like really attacking the zone, being efficient with pitches. Um, I feel like that's, that's been a key. And just getting those early outs, not throwing four or five pitches each batter, you know, looking for a sharp one in the zone and uh, looking for that early ground ball. Big second half coming up after the All-Star break. What is your number one goal? Ooh, stay healthy. Stay healthy. I'd say that's number one. I love it. Well, John Gray, thank you for the time. Enjoy the All-Star break, and we'll see you for the second half of the season. Awesome. Thank you. Thanks, John. The second half of the season guarantees excitement as the Rangers push for their spot in the postseason. I'll see you at the ballpark.